Hi guys, what is up? Good morning. It is a new week today and honestly, starting off on a weird, a very weird note. We're now in February, which is great. Um, I feel like January honestly went so well. I felt super driven and motivated and just, I was just really doing well in January and it's literally a day into February now and it's just, I don't know, I just like woke up in a weird mood today. Lots of like undirected anxiety, which is nothing surprising to be honest, but it is still gonna be a good day and I'm just gonna kind of like allow myself to rest and stuff today and like this week in general and like maybe not be too hard on myself. I just took, I feel like I've talked about these before, but I took my CBD gummies because they tend to really just be great. It's not like a drastic shift, but I do find that they do just, they're nice, they're very nice. Um, I do have a class to go to now. It's gonna be an hour and a half and I'm like not in the mood for class, but I know that I need to go because that is a huge goal of mine this semester to not just skip out in class, to like actually use my absences and stuff if I'm like actually sick or like not doing well. We have our Tuesday, Thursday classes. This is how I organize all of my notes. I have it basically just based on what day I have the class, super simple. Also going to grab what I need for class. Um, every video I never fail to get comments asking where these highlighters are from. These are them. They are the Zebra Mild Liners and they have two sides of a bold tip and then a fine tip so you can like highlight and draw in your notes and everything and I just got this little pastel kit from Target but they make them in all kinds of colors but I really liked the pastel one. So my YouTube creator studio has been down because I've been doing a little bit of channel work. I lost every single comment that I've ever made on YouTube so all my replies and hearts and stuff are gone. So all my replies to you guys on literally every single video my entire channel are, is gone. So that's not fun. I was not excited about that. So I was just like kind of frustrated about that and then my creator studio was down. So anyways, I did not post a video on Monday, but instead I posted a TikTok. Go follow me on TikTok. I've made a couple of like little daily vlogs on here and it's been really fun. So definitely go check them out. They're super quick, super short, but it's just like a fun little thing for me to do. Okay, so class is now over and it is time for me to show you guys my planning routine, planning schedule and everything. I feel like I should start off by mentioning that I'm a Virgo and I'm not that into astrology. I don't really know too much about it, but from what I've seen and heard, apparently Virgos really like to plan and organize things and it just speaks to me. I will be doing another kind of like small overview of my Notion setup, but um, for now, I'm gonna start by showing you guys my physical paper planner. I said it earlier, but the planner that I am currently using is by Doing Well Daily, and they did a collaboration with Daniel Caroline, and she has been one of my favorite creators for honestly years. So I'll show you guys what I do on a daily basis of planning. So. Each section, page, whatever, is an entire day, and there are quite a few pages. I've actually worked through like a, a very big chunk before. I've used it for like pretty much 30 days straight so far. There is always a quote, it's different every day, and it's actually normally just gray, but I always outline it with a felt tip marker. I was doing that during class because I was a little bit bored. So there's a section for what you're grateful for, affirmations, a section for self-care, which is so important, a place to put your mood, a time outline, and um, just some to-do lists and stuff. The section is filled out. Also, sometimes I like write what day of the week it is up there. I don't always do that, but sometimes I just do. I'll put like Monday, whatever. So that is all filled out important to do something that makes you happy every day going to watch a show that i enjoy today oh also with my blue highlighter 
I've already drank one big cup of water today, so we could color that in. I like to map out my day by the time and like what I'm gonna do at every hour, um, but I also don't take it too seriously and I feel like, I don't know, I like to have some structure, but I also like flexibility and I don't like writing what I'm gonna do minute by minute, but I at least write in what times I need to either attend class or like watch class. Two of my classes today are just posted and I can watch them literally at any time, but I like to at least plan out what time I'm gonna watch it to kind of like hold myself accountable. It definitely changes day by day, trust me, but I at least like to kind of make up a schedule every day. Now, this is where my laptop comes into play. I have done a whole um, overview of my Notion and like a tour of my Notion on my, on a video that I posted a few weeks ago. But anyways, I do have this page on here that shows every single one of my assignments and basically when they're due. So I will just kind of look to see what is due tomorrow, today, whatever, what's coming up. And then from that kind of write down what I want to get done throughout the day and then I'll, you know, put it on here. I also have a weekly agenda section on my Notion that I have not yet filled out for this week. Um, and of course, I always refer back to my actual calendar on canvas. I don't love the format of this, but I do like to um, make sure that I am getting everything done, you know, because sometimes professors change due dates and stuff, so I have to go back into my assignments and like kind of go through there. But I pretty much have everything always on my laptop there to see, but the difference with what I do with like Notion and calendars and stuff. So I'm just gonna write the class number and put the challenge. All of my classes are 400 level HDFS classes pretty much, all besides one. So I have to write the number of the class so I remember what class it is. I'm going to take my lunch break right now. Um, Obviously, I don't have a set time of a lunch break because I'm not like in school But this is when I would be in between classes and when I would like actually go make lunch This would be the time that I would actually go and make lunch get lunch from somewhere So this is definitely my favorite easy quick lunch to make um, So basically I get out just a baking pan. This one is just not a good condition and I use a tortilla and basically just cover it in shredded cheese, some black beans, some brown rice. It makes a fantastic little quesadilla. I bake it for like five to 10 minutes. I know some people put it on the stove, but I just bake it like this. And then once it's done, I'll like fold it over, you'll see. Final update on the planner. <laughs> I know this has probably been a long segment, but I love sharing with you guys how I plan stuff. I just think it's so fun. Anyway, so I went through Notion and did my weekly agenda. Um, again, I have a whole video on my Notion setup. I pretty much use templates from Cafe Study and Revisign. Two o'clock now, so I'm going to try to hold myself accountable and go to my next lecture of the day. Let's see. Each week is organized in a separate module in here, so let's go to the lecture. It'll probably take me an hour, and then after I have a reading quiz, I'm actually gonna start by only watching half the lecture. Um, I find that I work and focus best in 25 minute increments, which is the Pomodoro method. So we're starting that off, 25 minutes, let's do it. It is a lot later in the day now. I am so, so cold. Um, the temperature has dropped because the storm is just crazy. I ended up changing into this super cozy set from Target, believe it or not. I feel like other people, I'm sure, have seen Target loungewear all over the internet and stuff right now. And this is specifically from their Colsey line. If you can see, it's literally so soft but anyways i just got back from the store as you guys saw i did a quick run to wegmans just to get some things while i was there i picked up some new oatmeal creamer that i want to try it's like supposed to be really good with frothing I have to pick up kombucha i used to drink this kind so much in high school it's by health aid i can't tell if i like this one better or the synergy one better honestly all the kombuchas kind of taste the same at the end of the day i still have a little bit of stuff left to do tonight 
mostly just need to throw my laundry in the wash. I'm gonna go stay with Jacob for a few days before he goes back. I ended up doing pretty much all of my lecture. No, I think I only did half of the lecture. Um, today's lecture was about positive psychology. Um, basically in this class we're learning about like everything that could go wrong in adolescent development and we're talking about like different mental illnesses and also like how to combat that and stuff. Before I do anything else, I'm going to go take off my makeup quickly. I do need to do an updated um, night routine, makeup routine, skincare routine, all of that stuff. I have some breakouts on my chin from the stupid mask. I am planning on probably doing that though once I get back to my apartment. If you guys don't know, I'm still at home. Things have just been crazy with flights, storms, COVID, God knows what. So I, I'm literally still home. I've been home since November. But I'll give you guys a little sneak peek as to what products I've been using. So. To take off my makeup, I always use a cleansing balm. That one is by Drunk Elephant. I don't know where it is. I also switched over to the Youth to the People Cleanser. This is the brand, um, that's the logo. This is not the cleanser, but it's in the shower. So I don't wanna go get that, but I'll try to like insert a clip if I remember. Um, I have been using this Drunk Elephant moisturizer for probably a year now. It's the Lala Retro Whipped Cream Moisturizer. And I still use this if my skin gets really dry some nights, but I've been trying this and then I'm, I'm literally already on my second moisturizer of the Adaptogen Moisture Cream from Youth to the People. So honestly, my favorite brands of all time are still Drunk Elephant and Youth to the People hands down. Also, I just made a TikTok casually. I've been having literally so much fun putting TikToks together. Um, it's just been absolutely pure fun. So I made just like a daily vlog kind of thing. And what I do is I put all the clips in Final Cut Pro. And then this bottom clip right here is the audio. Like I literally go on TikTok, find an audio that I like, save that video so that I can hear the audio. And then once I get over to TikTok, I'll like delete the original sound and put in the favorited audio sound whatever i don't know if that makes sense hi guys good morning um i'm just not feeling it today i had my 8 a.m class this morning which i don't know i'm definitely happy that this is the semester that i have an 8 a.m because i don't have to physically go to campus i can stay in the apartment which is so nice because i literally will wake up at like 7 30 and like chug a coffee, go to class. But anyways, after nine o'clock now, I am uploading a video that you guys are gonna be seeing at noon today, and that's all about Penn State dorms. I hear a FedEx truck, I think that's in a package. I had a few gift cards that I have been holding on to for some time, and I've been waiting until they restocked the graphite gray color. It's just a very simple dark gray, and it has taken quite literally like six months. My first pair that I've ever gotten, I've had for three years now and they still are awesome, but it is so nice to have a nice new pair. Also very excited because my Sephora package came. I ended up getting the Charlotte Tilbury, I think it's called, um, lip liner in the color Pillow Talk because I've heard amazing things about this lip liner and then i got a restock of my face cleanser i have already gone through two bottles of this i am in love here is the pump let me have the whole bottle it looks kind of smaller than the other ones that i got but my favorite cleanser of all time i feel like i've been doing too many product unboxing whatever in this video i just got these in the mail they're from abercrombie and fitch i have not shopped from Abercrombie and Fitch since I was literally 13, but I've heard amazing things about their jeans. So these are the ones that I got They're super popular on TikTok. I feel like every person that does those outfit of the days with Abercrombie jeans, this is the kind that they wear But some people are just so secretive about the kind of jeans that they have and they like to keep it Kind of secretive and I hate that so I'm gonna show you guys because these are are incredible. Also, it's Wednesday, so you know what that means. I'm curious to listen to this. I think I know what's coming. If anyone else listens, I have a feeling she's dating the Zoom guy from London. You know what I mean? Wow, this is crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna go listen to this. My class starts in like 20 minutes, but I need to make my bed and get my life together. All right. Hi, guys. Um, It has been quite a few days, honestly. I feel like I filmed on 
Monday and Tuesday. I ended up spending the past few days with Jacob because he headed back to school today. We woke up so early to go to the airport, like 5 a.m. and I was just like, oh my gosh, but he is now back at school so that is great that he is there i have not gone back to my apartment obviously like i live off campus i literally could go back whenever i want and i've been paying rent to not live there the past two months which has sucked but i haven't like talked about this too much but i'm i'm literally like scared to go back and like obviously i've also stayed home to spend time with jacob and just like to be with my family and flights have also been kind of crazy so that's been the ultimate deciding factor of why I have not gone back but also like I'm literally scared to go back um Penn State the campus is literally still closed I think students are starting to head back this week if they live in a dorm but Penn State itself is like actually still closed it's been closed since before Thanksgiving and the cases week by week it's like it's insane obviously I'm not like a perfect person I definitely made some mistakes last semester of seeing people outside of my like bubble and ne anytime I did that like my birthday weekend I saw like five of my other friends that I don't live with and there was a COVID scare. It was definitely stressful in this semester I'm like I just can't have that stress I don't want that and so I'm going to continue to like not see like my friends and stuff like Shelby I haven't seen since my birthday in September which is crazy I know it's so stressful and people don't want to talk about it you know but it's yeah I do have a flight book to go back in a couple of weeks and we're gonna hope that I get to keep it at that time obviously if something comes up and I can't go back um I have to wait obviously which is stressful because it's just crazy because when I left for Thanksgiving break I had a COVID scare like right before I left and I thought I wasn't going to be able to come home for the holidays but thankfully I did not get it. My roommate had it and she literally has no idea where she got it from. Like literally no idea which is scary like you could literally get it anywhere even from like the hub which is crazy which is where like it's like our student center kind of thing and that's why I stopped going in there because like yes they like space everyone out but you're all like eating together and like kind of close and it makes me very worried there are going to be some nights where it's just me chilling in my pajamas in my room late on a friday night and that's okay even when college ends in a year things are still gonna be fun because your 20s are just so fun that's enough of my rant i'm sure no one wants to hear about that